What's wrong, Amber? Nothing. Oh, bread. If things do get hostile, I'll step off to the side. They're Probably not going to get hostile. But it's nice to know I that if they do them. get hostile, we know who our four are. There's no. nothing wrong with that. Yes. No. Yeah, I'll shoot him with my dad's gun because I lost my fucking Springfield. That's what I've been doing all fucking night is trying to find the asshole that stole it. You mean what? the Springfield I lent you? Yeah. How'd you lose it? Check telegrams. The guy came up behind me as I was walking out of the station. You weren't hurt, were you? Nope. Okay. But I don't want to shoot this motherfucker. Can't say I blame you. What a thing to wake up to. His name was Smokey. He Ew. was about your height, Ivy. Okay. Um, tied back, brown hair, brown hat, blue, dirty jacket, dirty black bandana. Can't remember the shirt, black pants, brown boots. Was it a demo? really bringing the governor. Didn't oh. have his horse. Is that the governor? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, for fuck's sake, she shouldn't be involved in this. Howdy. Howdy. Hey, Gus. Welcome back. All right. Do you remember asking to talk to the governor? Do what? Fred, how about you talk without like raising your <laughs> voice to a, no, a I mean, little voice? That's uh, I'll just put it out there. Didn't even hear, understand what you said. <laughs> all right. Well, all right. So, well, I know that we've had a past. It's uh. Started out good, got bad, and then we ended it. And uh, you know, we moved in, moved the business in, got bad again. Uh, but you know, none of us, we don't want this war. We don't, we don't want none of that happening. Hey, you did. I don't, you no. made it known at Emerald that you did. You were prepared to fight for it. I, I am, and and, and I stand by that. I do stand by that. I. If, if 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 we're being, you know, threatened like that, absolutely, I'm absolutely uh, willing, you know, to 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 fight for that. However, that doesn't mean, you know, I I don't, you know, I want it. I don't think anyone uh, wants it. I well, hope no, not. No one wants it. But you know, if look, last meeting we had, we we. The problem was that there was no, it, it was all, you know, demands, 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 you know, there, there, there was there was a lot of push, but no give. Yeah, that's what happens when someone moves into your homestead without any kind of letter. Okay, I'm not talking about when we moved in. I'm talking That's about the thing that bothers meeting. us the most, just so you are aware. I'm, I'm aware of that. Okay. And, and, and let me give you my, my, I guess, my take on that. You know, that last meeting that we had. Uh, it was months ago. It didn't end well. Um, it didn't end well. For, I mean, it end well for you guys, but, but surely not not us. Uh, you know, I, I think last time it was we wanted to run the business here as we saw fit. We wanted to. We didn't want to be in the house at all, uh, but we wanted to build a camp um, outside of it or somewhere outside. Of it, you know, so we could be here running the cattle, working the cattle, not just bringing them out, but you know, working the ranch and. Uh, you know, with how much flack we got from you guys, it, it, it was just, we felt, no, I mean, we, we had, we absolutely felt that we just, if we were going to do this, we just got to do it. And I understand that on, on your side that, well, shit, that you guys ain't going to take that shit. I get it. Um, But, you know, now we had this thought that, you know, if if bullets start flying, it, it's not going to end. You know, shit's going to go downhill fast for both parties. And none of us want that. So, you know, I'm here to, to, to maybe, you know, come up with something. I, I know you guys wanted some kind of, uh, before you wanted some kind of contract, you know, something written legally that we wouldn't do certain things, which, you know, 
we're all uh, very w aware that, you know, there are some things we won't do, you know. Like, you know, messing with the graveyard. I, I know we wanted to build a fence around that. Pick a fence around the graveyard, protect them. That way, if cattle does get through, we, well, they wouldn't get through the fence and stomp all over the graves. Um, house, I mean, yes, personally, I, I would love to live under a roof, under the a place that I work at. But, you know, if I can't, if I can't do that safely, then so be it. Uh, but, but the ranch, you know, the land, the, the, the cattle, I understand you guys have your own business license. So, you know, something with that, uh, you know, two businesses operating out of somewhere that it happens all the time, but, you know, perhaps that kind of schedule thing could be, be worked out there. Um, you had a schedule thing before, and then you decided to just wipe your ass with it and leave it. Now you no, came back all we of were, a sudden on a whim we you. one night and just moved your shit in. Completely I negligent and devoid of the fact that a gang lives here and that they're very humble to this part of the world and that they'll fight negligent. and die to preserve it and defend it at whatever cost. Okay, then why? Everybody's curious. From our side and anyone else is curious as to why you would do such a ludicrous fucking action, Gus. Well, in our, our minds, it wasn't, it's not so ludicrous. I mean, we, I, I've, I've told you this before, I mean, we have every, ju we have just as much right as you do, this place. Mm-hmm. And, and you're gonna, and you're like gonna said, fight I'm, like hell to earn it, too. That's what I told you. Yeah, and, you know, if, if, if my freedom to be here and you know everyone I, that that i call a friend you know we, we we love to do what we do and sometimes you know you need to make sacrifices to do Good. what you want to do glad to hear that okay so it sounds like you just i mean at this point i'm no a nasty fucking bitch when it comes to my family in this land so absolutely and if you think that there's going to be any bowing or swaying or bending of the knee to you because you want to be a ranch man out of here, you're incorrect. We'll, uh, give you the, well. we'll give you the courtesy of taking the cattle right now, as you had intended to do, even though you weren't here to claim it yourself, and we are. We'll give you the courtesy today for that, just as a oh, show of okay. good faith. We, we, we already came out and, 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 and drove the cattle. Okay, there we go. Because the issue again. isn't with the cows or the licenses for the business. It's with the homestead because it belongs to a gang. A gang that will See, fight and defend it and do everything in their power to uphold it. See, well, and, and I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. You understand that, you know, you preventing another business to be operating at the same place as your business. There you are. I, I understand you don't, you don't, uh, you know, Gus, gang. here's the thing. We're not, the business pertains to the cattle. We're not stopping you in regards to the cattle. Now, if we're not around, yeah, we have no claim to the cattle. You can do what the fuck you like, yeah? even if we don't like it. Yeah? At the end of the day. Legally speaking, if we're not around, we have no claim to that cattle. The issue comes with the homestead. And I'll put it to you like this. If you want to live in that homestead, you see this buckle we're all wearing? You'll have to put every single person wearing this buckle in the dirt for that to happen. Well, like I said, I'm willing to part with a, with putting a roof over my head. Willing to part? You never had the option of it. I did have the option. You can't... You You did, but it would come at a great sacrifice to it. All involved. Of course. Like I said, you know, good things come to those who fight for it. Yep. And we're opposite parties. I get that. We don't like each other. But what I was saying is that, you know, you doing what you're doing, it, it, it is it is breaching the contract of, of a business license. You could Actually, just it's not. Easily, it, it is. Actually, it's not. It really isn't. It, no. It, it really the is business you. license has nothing to do with the house. It only has to do with the cattle. Yep. That's what I've told you. And we said we don't give a shit if you come and run the cattle when we're not here. I as wouldn't, for how licenses work. I wouldn't confuse the situation with facts that aren't actual, um, Mr. Gus. Because there's two separations. There's what the gang claims, and that's the homestead here with the graves, the barn, shit like that. And then there's the business of the cows. 
completely separate entity and it will always be constructed as such. And I would not get it in your thought processes or your word usage to mix the two together because, sir, you are standing very incorrect in this moment. All right, so be it. Now, let's say uh, you come around here. I mean, like I said, uh, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, when we come here, work the kettle, uh, we ain't always, you know, bringing them out and then just going to fuck off, you know. A lot of things to do around the ranch, like, you know, maybe not the house. I'm not saying the house, but, but uh, fences. Uh, and obviously we do a lot of work with cattle in the pens, like vaccinations, branding, cutting, uh, weaning, stuff like that. Now, when you say you ain't here, now, the thing is, uh, are, are you, I, I guess my next question is, are you guys doing anything with the cattle with your business? Because if, if I come here and, you know, we're, we're trying to work the cattle, uh, the last thing I want to see is, is uh, you know, you guys saying you can't because you're here, you know? I mean, if, if, you're, if you're actively working them, um, sure, that's where this, it doesn't matter because we we're still in premises here and if we're someone from the roster of the business is specified on the property around the cows then the cows are ours there's actually, no and of force robots yeah. no actually you are incorrect per hr 157 it says we just have to be monitoring the animals yep ah, well yes you are correct that is two business license so that's what i'm asking is this going to be a schedule thing or is this going to be a fuck all give all you know, if you're here, then fuck off. If we're here, then don't be. It's that simple. Mm. See, I, I I don't like that. You know, I don't I, care. My, well, that's... See, There's don't have 12 other I'm, ranches I'm across the state that have cows, that have no, privileges no, for you, you to expose understand. and delight yourself you with. You do not understand. You do not understand that we have tried and tried and tried it just i mean seriously guys i wouldn't fucking fuck with you guys i i don't care i wouldn't fuck with you if you if if you know these cattle were somewhere else i wouldn't do it but the thing is mr I, bullock I, I have to run my business the way i want to run it that is where i put my foot down there well here's the thing mr bullock we're not giving you a choice in the matter if we are here you are not to be well see that well and we have the legal backing of a business license to enforce that. If we are here and we are monitoring the cattle and you try and touch those cattle, we are within our rights to shoot you for attempting to rustle our cattle. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. And that would risk your license well, actually, as well, we sir. Well, we would not see about that because, again, HR 157, Section 7, Defense of Property, to the owner of livestock or their contacted agents may defend the livestock in see, any manner they might the defend any other property. Mm -hmm. I, You have told us, well, actually, Rawson has told us, told me and Poe Ross, and I'm sure you guys remember Poe Ross. He was a bit of a... <laughs> Bit of a talker last time we met. Now, Rosen did tell us that the only reason that you guys have that business license is to prevent other people working the kettle. That is the only reason that you oh, have. Oh, so hearsay. That I would, I would like to say, as what, like half owner into the Lone Star Ranch to which you were discussing, Rosalind is not, that he, she is I incorrect in that matter. So what we do is we slaughter the animals. We provide it to the soup kitchen down in St. Denis. We provide medical bones towards any doctor who may need it for the usage of medical broth, so on and so forth. Yeah, sounds like then we need to figure out a schedule then. Yeah. No, it sounds we're like not, maybe though. <laughs> we did not be here when we're here. Well, then, gladly let me know when you're going to be here and when you're not going to be here. All day, every day. Gus, I'll put it to you like this, yeah? We have given you our terms. Yeah? It's very simple for you, you know, where your people are at the end of the driveway. It is very simple for you to stand there, pull out your binoculars, have a look. If no one's around, whatever, yeah? But if we are around, I suggest you keep riding. It's not I very hard. a lot of people, you know, we, we, we typically run a schedule. I don't really care. I know you don't care. And I'm trying to be cordial here. I mean, a schedule sounds good to me. That's not happening. You shit all over the last one. Last time. 
we were no, literally all in agreement with it last time like we were under the impression that you would be here tuesdays and thursdays to run them and then on saturdays you slaughtered them and then it changed because we had to do more than just run them hmm. okay did you reach out to Roslyn? i did and that's did you reach out to ivy for. and melody oh that yeah this is after you just left left it all for several months just to come back and move your shit into the house we left you had to know that that would provoke an issue you had uh, to well, you're damn right i knew then why do it? Because we were prepared for it. Are you then why still are you acting surprised <laughs> that you're getting this kind of deal right now? You literally disrespected us. Do you think I'm asking for? for uh, no, I, I'm not surprised. I'm trying to reason. The schedule sounds good to me. You, we won't meet it. Well, we're not obligated we, to. Look, we've given you our terms. These aren't changing. You can either like it or you can lump it. All right. That's the end of it. This is bullshit. I have every fucking right to be here. My business. As do we. Yeah, you do. And you do have an obligation to work and, and work at a schedule. Mm -hmm. No, we don't have an obligation oh, no, to work No, we don't have a schedule. No, not at all. You can go get bent. The fuck? No, go well, to a fuck different you guys. fucking... You guys go to a different fucking, fucking range. Yep. I, you know what? Why don't you go down to, what is it, Cerulean Ranch down there in Armadillo? Or not in Armadillo, at McFarland's? Yeah, they ain't gonna try this shit with them. Cerulean yeah, I know. There's no livestock there. There's no livestock. There are chickens and I run a Comanche herd out of there. Of horses. Okay. His business license pertains to cattle. You mean the business license that gets changed every week? It very well does not get changed every week. We get changed every week. We move. We pre grazes. There are plenty of cattle throughout the state on various other properties that are not two being operated properties. out of. There, there are two other properties. Okay. okay. Then go to, go to those properties. Cattle, uh, at most four, five. Uh, we, well, we, we did try there. They have uh, horses. Medic Fawn has three. Well, we, we ain't in the wild horses business anymore. I'm Bummer. actually pretty sure that... Um, Pronghorn has a bunch of cattle. They're just in the barn. They do. Yeah. They do. You can't bring them out. They are dairy cows, and we focus on beef cows. Mm -hmm. Pronghorn is also technically, we respect a lot of the native tribes, and Pronghorn is uh, kept with the Arakoan, and we are very respectful to the Arakoan's wishes, and they do not wish that we slaughter those cattle. Arakoan so licenses don't, 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 don't apply on native land? Is that what I'm hearing? No, no, there, 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 there's a business out there working that. It, it's a, a LeBlanc, uh, Lone Elf Ranch. Doesn't sound like you really fought for that one. No, we very much fought for that one. Yeah. I don't okay. think well, um, you or, it is yeah, it took a long time for, for us to help Red get there. You've already walked out this thing with the Aracon and that other business out there, all right? You have come to acceptable terms with them. We are giving you our terms for here. You can either accept them, or you can push your luck. I so I I am curious. I have a couple of questions. Um, we only have a schedule that relies on two days a week. I am not seeing why this is so difficult. We so to allow are two you, days a week. Are you two a part of this? Are yes. you actually here on behalf of them in the sense of actually working on your own personal interest? Yep. You should not be doing that. Why? Because it's a little bit of a conflict. Governor. You, you guys don't understand that. I, I mean, we are. I was a rector we have a before very I was a governor. Community. I mean, you know, and, and, and we all help each other out. I mean, we all helped Red get that ranch out there. We all helped, you know, bring up the Livestock Association. They we helped all, wrangle you know, we my all Comanche herd. It's, it is it's... sort of a, a mutual partnership rather than okay. somebody is a boss. Are you here as governor? No. Mm -hmm. I'm here as a rancher that happens to know, you know, business laws and laws that apply to cattle. And uh, I think I'm an okay talker. Okay, well, here's the thing. You say that, what, your ranch is a part of this livestock association or whatever? Or it associated is. with it in some way? It is associated, yeah. Well, yeah. What about the fact that we don't want to be involved in that? Yeah. You don't have it's to. It's not be mandatory. 
You know, no, a okay. absolutely not. You know, the, then the we've given you our terms. Why is this so difficult to understand? We don't because want to be involved frankly, in it. They are a little bit unrealistic. All right. I, I am asking, if, may I ask a question? If you are saying, okay, uh, you can run the kettle when we are not here, okay, is there a days that we can expect you not to be here? Not really. Then, as I said to Mr. Bullock, that's, yeah. that's not a logistical... Stand at the end of the drive, have a look with your binoculars. If we're here, keep riding. If not, then it's what up, whatever. I don't you think know? you understand that that's here. not a logistical business strategy, though. It it doesn't I don't think the only you understand we're not, that yeah. we're not giving Stop. Shit. It's the way the law is written. If they are here, they are their cattle. If they're not, you may have the cattle. Exactly. It's as simple as that. We're not being unrealistic. And guess, you know, I tried. I'm sorry that it didn't work out. But here's the other thing. Lithra, you, but well, both of you actually knew. We tried before. It didn't work out. You guys went off, tried other ranches, tried wherever, outside of roads, whatever you guys did for three months, three or four months. And now I know you want to try and come back again. It just, we tried. We really did. This is our best effort now because Roz has said enough is enough. The other side of that coin is that if Gus and his people are here working those cattle, y'all can't be coming in here trying to run them off. Oh, exactly. Of course not. We wouldn't. No, if you're already here, you're working the castle and one of us wakes up wakes up or whatever, you know, we're not going to run you off with guns. Just like I've done we in the past. Right when I've woken up and come outside and you guys are out here with the cows, I just fucked off because I'm not trying to get in your way. You know what I mean? Yeah. You touch but the house, though. That's a different fucking story. It is. I ain't going to touch that's the That's where the line is drawn. You guys make me out like like I'm gonna fuck with you guys or fuck your shit up. But you did. Kind of you did a, they, what they we would consider. Did I tear Gus. Down. Gus. I, I put some shit in. Imagine there. if, let's say, the cults went to where you were staying previously and just moved our shit into your home. How would that make you feel? Where you lived, where you reside, where you have your love, you have all of that. But actually, we are very cohabitation. I, I, yeah. I don't. I, I would actually, I mean, I would be, a, I would, I would probably send a fucking letter. It would catch you off guard, like, right? What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. But I wouldn't fucking get all hostile and shit. And I get that. You're a fucking gang. Yeah. You gotta hold up this image. Image? Well, yeah. Don't use dumb words. It's not an image. It's a matter of principle, Mr. Bullock. It's our way of life. It's what we fight and we die for. And that... Those graves over there should serve as testaments. Exactly that. I can tell you right now, my father didn't, or wasn't murdered for upholding an image. I don't mean that in that kind of way. All right. But the fact of the matter is, you know, you know, people like you understand, you know, any kind of weakness shown, people start to take advantage of that. No, can you not agree there? Do you know why, Gus? Because when exactly weakness is why. shown, it's like fucking sharks circling a dead something or other in the water. They just come out of nowhere, and they try to fucking rip you to pieces, and they try to do stupid shit like this. Well. So, um, may, I, may I ask a hypothetical then? Sure. Let's say if you were to allow some people to live on the property, it does not have to be in the house, are you afraid that this makes it seem like you are just allowing anybody to live on the property? That we won't be able to do that in good faith. That has been expressed multiple times over no, no, many, no, no, many no, months. No, 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 no. This is a hypothetical. This is a hypothetical. This isn't. This is going off of what you are saying is going to happen with sharks circling. I'm curious if you think that if we, if you allow people to live on the property, working the business, that this suddenly creates this image that people are allowed to live on this property. I'll put it to you like this, Madam Governor. You give someone an inch, they will take a mile. Yeah? We start doing that with one group. Every group will be trying. Yeah? That is not something that we are willing to accept, and nor will we entertain. No secondary off him, Madam Governor. The crazy thing is, why in someone's right fucking mind would they think it even be mostly appropriate to move and lay claim or tense or living conditions, whatever they may be, on a gang's homestead. 
It has been done on the quest. It's not being done here. Well, um, it's a good way to get shot, not by us necessarily. But let's say we have an issue with a group, and that group comes a knocking, and they see some of you lot around or whatever. The likelihood of them grabbing you or shooting you or something like that is rather high. Yeah, it's a very stupid decision if you want to live a long, happy life. So you're saying that there's the potential to be collateral damage? Absolutely. We've already explained yeah. that to mm -hmm. Gus. So, at what point does this property not become homestead? When we're dead. All no, of no, us. No, no, no. I mean, not, not, not this property. I'm curious what you consider a property line as the homestead. Actually, yeah, um, that, that is a good question. Because... I would say, and correct me, family, if I'm wrong, but I'd say train tracks to the road to my left, and then the road in front of me to the road behind me. Yeah, that's how I would decree it. It's a big piece of land. I was gonna say quite mm -hmm. down, all the way down to the train tracks. Train tracks are just the over train the tracks little... on the other side of the hill. Yeah, they're right on the other side of the hill. It's not too far. So let's say uh, this way, beyond the pasture. There's a little clearing of that spot of land. Would that be feasible if you consider that off the property line? To pitch some tents so that we may keep an eye over we? the kettle. Well, here's the thing. Between the pasture and the road, no. After the road, there's a cliff. If you want to put your stuff up on the cliff, fine. Or if I'm, you know, behind you there, there's clearing on the other side of the road. That's off our property. We don't give a fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Or, if I may, perfectly great camp right up there. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's been offered before and denied. Yeah, it was up. We uh, wanted to live a little bit closer to the corral there. <laughs> you can see it from the camp. Look, no, there's it's plenty a, it's, It becomes of... a little more difficult to see the kettle when you are a distance away is the problem. You want we're guys going... Hey. You know, we're Here's going round and 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 round. No, I, I, I don't think that's true. It is. You guys are not getting what you want. We've set our boundaries. Enough. And I'm just trying to work on a little bit of compromise here. And I you're not getting it. That with... I don't think I don't think that asking to be just off the property line is that difficult of a compromise. We've told you what we it's deem to answered. be the property line. Yeah. If, if they, you want to sit on the, the other side of the property matter. line. Yeah. So my suggestion to you, yeah, is if you look over there. Yeah, there's a lovely blank bit of hill that you can set your camp up on, or if you don't, or if you don't want to have to, you know, set up tents yourself, there's a lovely camp at the top of the hill there. Or, alternatively, you see the cliff behind me, or where I'm facing now, up on the top of that. It's off our property line. And to be fair, you can see the cows real well with binoculars. You guys gonna let me build a fence over that graveyard? No. 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 Why? Like I said, I can make it big enough so that way, you know, in the future, you get old. I respect that. Just but... makes it a little bit easier for us to, you know, cattle do get. I mean, we get we did fix the fence and the paddock for mm -hmm. you all. N not for us. It was also for you, so that yeah, you, know, you didn't fix it for us. You fixed it for yourselves. Absolutely for us. I mean, come on. Right, but who benefits the most from this? You guys. But you say that you work the kettle as well. Mm -hmm. I would say that this is a, a mutual benefit. I could set I could set myself on my horse where that in, where that exit point was, and no cow would dare go through it. Or if yeah, I wanted to, I could go get a wagon and do the same exact thing, and it would serve the same exact purpose, which is something we've done for years. Can I ask another thing? This will be the last one. But yeah. I don't think we have a choice, but yeah. I am just curious why 
you had believed that this was malicious, what we wanted to do. Because he fucking moved in without telling anybody. That is literally, and he literally said that that's what he was doing. Did you not listen to him? You're a very good talker, but you're obviously not a good listener. Okay, you, we don't need to be disrespectful. I am just trying to... Madam Governor, how would you like it here as if I pick... So call her Lithy. No. Okay, Lithy. How would you like it if I all of a sudden packed my stuff and I moved into the governor's mansion without telling you? Yeah. The governor's mansion is governor property. This is, this, as it is government property. It's still your is. house, is it not? As of current? Well, yes, but that's different. It's government property. They, they, there are different laws. Pointless question. Okay, she won't then, answer it. Then your ranch, then. Okay, people there we have, go. and you know what? People have, and I allow people to live at that ranch. Okay. And you know what? Have I do have- allowed a gang to live at your ranch? Actually, yes, yeah, right now. Because there's a gang living at my ranch right now. <laughs> who? Beats me who they are. Then how do you know they're a okay. gang? Because they've made it very present what their ideology is. Hmm. But you know what? Don't bother my herd. They don't bother me. And I have friends, you, you, you talk about the graves, I have friends buried on my property as well. With permanent epitaphs, but they are there. Well, I guess you're just a higher person than we are, I guess, Elythra, because it's not going to motherfucking happen. It's done. This conversation is done, over with. Gus, you and I tried. Enough. Please, for the love of everything that is insane right now, Enough. Madam Governor, I apologize. No, it's Lithy. No She's not here as a governor, so we need to make sure that there is that separation. Apologies, Sam. Because if she was here as a governor, that would actually be corruption, considering the fact that she would be self-serving at this We're moment. We're not here for a civics lesson, okay? Okay. Okay, I'll put it like this. I'm extremely ill, and healing you know severely injured this conversation is going in circles please fuck off because i want to go and rest up all right thank you we're done here all right well thank you for your time thank you for yours <clears throat> he'll be back Yeah, and if Room breed, not, thank you for helping keep the base. Walker, come back. Thanks, gentlemen. Just him, sorry. Yep. Thank you too for helping keep the peace. We appreciate it. Yeah, and that's what we will continue to attempt to do. So, so like we... I said, if they're here working the cattle, I know that you understand. Yep. Don't mess with them. It's been yep. very clearly yep, defined fine. to the cults that there's a massive separation between what the business is and what our residence is. And I think a lot of us don't give a shit about the cattle. I mean, I do, because I'm actually going to start trying to do more with it. I'm going to be making leather strips uh, for weaponsmiths and making more bone broth for medical purposes, because I am a doctor of King's Cross and Mountain Medical, so anything I can give my trainees, I can help with. You know, yeah. if he starts doing things or, or things that are pissing you off, telegram us okay. and let us get involved he's gonna try to play the game of getting us to violate our license i can, I can fucking he's, sense he's it absolutely going to try yeah. to do that mm -hmm. and oh. if y'all start shooting him for it and i'm gonna have to come here and arrest y'all yeah that's what we'd like to avoid send me a telegram and let us try to deal with it got it uh, on the note quick question sorry uh well, if you all were that are here present were at the Emeralds thing with Gus a few days ago. Five days ago now, four days? Uh, actually, everybody but, but Henry. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. uh, sorry. Would you guys mind giving your statements uh, to Luke, maybe? Because Luke's going to be impartial before I get shit again. The fuck is Luke? Because I want to have that yeah, Luke walker Luke? to my right. Sorry. Oh, the one stole my oh, yeah. oh, that guy. Okay. Yeah. Um, because I want to have your statements in there, so it'll be of your side. If it's okay with you, Reed. Yeah, because right now we only have their side, and yeah. Is Reed gonna be a marshal? I can try. Am I gonna be a marshal? <laughs> Hell no. Shit, Last Reed, time I tried to get him in, he almost made me go back. Yeah, you'd, you'd probably have better luck as a marshal. See, Reed? Better luck what? 
like oh boy. with people that you can trust. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> so it was uh, pretty would simple. It be okay with you guys? So we just we just came across Gus's shit in the homestead near our fireplace stocked over in the front. We noticed that there was a sign placed out on the rock behind y'all, right on the side of the drive coming in. It said Carmudi Bell Ranch or something. Yeah, apparently that's how it was called before. Mm -hmm. Um so we sparked up a conversation with Gus. He was there with him and three other folks. And it was myself, Amber, Fred, and Sam. And we had a conversation that told him that, you know, that he wasn't going to be living in our homestead. And he was a damn fucking fool for even thinking that that was going to happen. A little bit of banter went on. And he's talking about he's, he's done a lot of planning and things like that along with the other ranch, ranchers and ranches in the state to get what he wants, essentially. I said the only way he was going to get this ranch, like our homestead, not necessarily the cattle, but just our homestead, was the fucking, there was, there was going to be a lot of blood to be spilled. The only way he was getting it is if we were no longer around or alive to defend it and keep it for our own. I can show you where the boxes were, and then on our table, the kitchen table, there was a belt buckle with the golden fox on it. Does anybody know what that means? I believe it's Gus's. Oh, right. Uh, Re oh, sorry. Okay. Re, do you mind if Walker takes those statements? Because I figured that might be better to have that his That's name was there. what he's doing. I know, but I'm asking you and the sheriff, because he's your deputy. I mean, that's what he's doing. Give it a, like the old statements and emerald side tab. Never mind. Do you want to see where it was just so that you have like? Yes, please. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Nate, welcome to the marshals. Oh, congrats. Oh, also, do you guys know Nate? Just to. I met him Nate when he just, Howard? him and Luke yeah, just Nate rode Howard. up here. <laughs> Hi, Nate. <laughs> Never a good idea, bud. Yeah, Nate. Rube, I got a question for you. Do you know a, a person that gives the alias Smokey? No. Okay. Never heard that either. Why? No, I've never heard of that. Uh, he took my fucking Springfield from me when I was in Strawberry. Hmm. Two. Smokey. I'm right, I already yeah. know the answer. Did you report this to the deputies? Nope. <laughs> Not yet. Okay. However, if I find him before you guys, I'm just not going to be in any condition to uh, shoot with both eyes. Fair enough. I mean, can you get your property back? Yeah, I would like to, but I haven't been able to find him. He okay. took off from Strawberry. He didn't have a horse. Uh, I thought he was going to go to Wallace. He didn't go there. So, I don't know where the fuck he's at, but... I'll keep an eye out. But I've never yes. heard of that. I know, I just uh, voiced my assault on a guy, but I had... That was literally the last straw that I had for the night. No, you're fine. I'm ready. We're hell happy that you guys did this, because... You guys kept your cool, and... <clears throat> don't know how you experienced that, Nate, but... Uh, the other side did not as much. We're respectful when we need to be. Yeah. Okay, so was this incident just at the mm. homestead, or was there a separate one that happened at Emerald? It, this there was one at Emerald. Yeah, and er, Emerald. Okay. Oh, sorry, Sam. All right, someone tell me about what happened there. Oh, no, that's what she told you. The The thing that okay. I did was what spurred our talk at Emerald. Yep. Ah, uh, okay. It was reactionary because someone moved into our fucking home. I don't remember... I can't remember which side pulled for, or pulled our guns into our hands first. We didn't aim them. Just everyone there it, had a gun in their hand. That was the yeah. question I was actually about to ask. Yep. I think the one in the back of theirs had it out the whole time. Yeah, Gus had his out. There were two that did not, though. 
Yeah. Um. Fuck. What's his name? It wasn't Leo. No. Uh, Ash, Ash was the one. Was the woman? Yeah, Ash was there. Yeah, I don't remember the other guy, the other gentleman. I have no clue. We kept an eye on them, but. That's yeah, I don't right. know if. So the only other two that I know that actually like work with him and I know their names of are Leo Brennan and Red LeBlanc. But I don't believe either of those two were there. Okay. I did hear that maybe one of them might have been a bounty hunter, but I don't know. That's it. I know. I'm not saying you could room I wouldn't that. do that. <sighs> no, he can't tell us because then yeah. we'll know who hunts us eventually. Yeah. <laughs> then he won't get the drop on us, man. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, my God. The moments when you guys brought up, like, oh, yeah, if you people are here, then they're going to chase you and stuff. I was going to happen. Yep. <laughs> Yep. We're, not, we're not stupid. Yep. So, I know there was a lot of uh, arguments between both groups. Was there a specific threat that came from either side that kind of spurred all the guns to be drawn? I'm going to be completely just... honest with you, Deputy Walker. Okay. I laid For it sure. out, the actual intent, that if he pursued moving and living in our homestead, what would happen? He'd be met with bullets. Yep. And he'd inadvertently put his people in harm's well in harm's way as well just from his stupid fucking actions and also the fact that he would retaliate as well so oh, yeah Nathan, she also said over there for a minute. sure he Don't also mind. said that uh if anyone were to be shot that we'd have all of the ranchers to deal mm -hmm. with oh um <clears throat> that's so interesting. Not making you write us up walker but no, you're all right. I, I know, know the position you're in. Right. Yeah, that's fine. That's yeah. why I'm here. That's and you heard him again today talking about how many, um, he's got a lot of people. Mm -hmm. A lot of friends. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right. So both sides were threatening each other when it finally reached a boiling point to where it turned into, look, if you show up, you're going to get shot. I'll right. let you know, though, Deputy Walker, we actually left. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So y'all were the ones that walked away? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, we were going to stand there in awkward silence with our guns in our hands. Or use them. Eh, it wouldn't be awkward silence. Gus has a real good way of filling the void with <laughs> yeah. his voice because he likes That's to hear true. it. It's like Henry. Kind of like, uh, well, Oof. never mind. I'm not going to finish my sentence. <laughs> Fuck you, <Sorry>. Fuck <laughs> you Am I wrong? I was so... actually also going to say, kind of like our fucking governor. Jesus. Oh my god, Sam, you made my day, by the way. That's, uh, what I, made I'm, you I'm, think I'm, it was I'm malicious? I'm professional for a moment, but uh, you made my day. Nobody heard yeah. that I said that. Sorry. No, that's fine. <laughs> nope. I just thought it was stupid. Heard what? What, what exactly. made you think that it was malicious? He fucking said it. Oh, <laughs> no, I meant, I meant the HRs. Are you like, as a yeah. governor? Like, oh. Yeah. Uh, do people forget that I was also a governor? I mean, that's why Apparently. I asked you those questions in real, so what we could go. Yeah. She, um, just she had... does understand that what she's doing is if she, you guys are here as her protection and as her, like, her being governor, that is literal corruption. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she can't serve <laughs> personal interests with her, exactly. her duty. Wouldn't be the first time in her term. Oh, what do you oh know? really? Oh, hello. What? Go out ahead. with it. I want to see you get arrested right no. the fuck now. I don't know details. <laughs> I'm going to take you to the river again. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. All right. Take I'll be all right river. with that. Yeah. This time, Whoa. actually, put my head under the made. fucking water, Rube. Come on. Rube, you flirting with my mother? It's not a good time Listen, until I get drowned me off, okay? <laughs> I thought you should... I thought you cut your... Huh? Wait, 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 but what, what happened? Okay, we're getting... <laughs> yep. Uh, can you please, like, give me a base rundown, please? Can I ask one question before we dive into that? Yeah, go ahead. Just out of, out of curiosity, uh, is there does anybody have any specific letters from Gus that might have any threats or anything on them? Um, I sent him a telegram that said it would behoove him to fuck off. Okay. Um, I got one back, and I don't remember what it said because he's stupid, and I don't really care to read that, but I'll look. Okay, yeah, that would... Uh, I'll send I'm you not, a copy I'm not later. trying to say... I'm not trying to say y'all are, I mean, it's an argument things are heated, but if I can get a specific threat on something like a letter or a telegram, that would be very beneficial. Yeah. No, just Everything the verbals. Mm -hmm. Okay. Even again today. But like I said, I'll, I'll go look, and if I, if it is, it, I'll send you a letter with a copy of it. Okay, I appreciate that. 
anyway, Rube, you can yeah. dive into what you want to. You want to talk about yeah. surprising, I, like, wake up to this I, shit? I do just want to say really quickly, too, my letter to him, again, was not threatening. It was just, uh, I literally said the word behoove. I was like, oh wow, my look God. at me. That's <laughs> alcohol <laughs> like, right there. Yeah. What the f Okay. Someone just fired a gunshot. Snakes. Yeah, that's probably a snake. Mm. Yeah, that's why I kicked it, though. But, Amber, um, would you mind telling me what happened, or not really know? I, just I don't know specifics. I just have heard that there is um, a possible charge of her being corrupt. No, I shouldn't say a, a full-on charge, but that people know that she's doing things for, to benefit herself. Oh, but you don't have any as a governor. situations? Mm, nope. Damn Unfortunately, because... Damn it. <laughs> well, okay. I'd like to know. That's my... <sighs> Rube, come here. It's oh. so hard to it's so hard to get corruption though. That's the thing. Like I understand you trying yep. to find literally anything. That's why I was pointing out that is the literal definition. <laughs> and then Reed was upset because I was giving a civics lesson. Listen, I was fucking governor. Everyone was like, "Damn, you're being corrupt." I'm like, "Bitch, being in a relationship with someone is not being corrupt. I'm not letting him get away with shit. If he gets in trouble, he gets in fucking trouble, and I'm gonna be like, you give him the full fucking time." Don't don't half that shit. That idiot knows better. Fair enough. <laughs> well, uh, unless unless anybody has anything else, uh, I'll take a step away and wait for Mr. Rube to come. Could you do us a favor, there, Deputy Why Walker, and read us what you had written to make sure for accuracy's sake? Absolutely. Let me pull my stuff back out. You just down. put it away. Thank you. Uh -huh. No, it's okay. I no, will. I, it's something I normally oh. do too. I just kind of got lost in that very uh, long rant. <laughs> I'll fucking yeah, double dad. tie your your ankles and your wrists next time. We're, come on. Uh, whoa, uh, whoa, uh, whoa. Uh, what uh, are you doing? <laughs> not be shared out you in your yard. You were right about uh, assault warrant. That's a lawyer. I'm I'm at say you're on your own on this one, sir. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, so. What started the whole confrontation was y'all arriving at the homestead, noticing there was a belt buckle on the table, a box in the corner. The box was then dumped out in front of the house. The next day, the stuff was over in the barn corner. Uh, y'all arrived at Emerald, Ivy, Mr. Amber, Mr. Fred, and Sam. Uh, had a conversation with Gus at Emerald and his people, stating that they were not allowed to move into the homestead. Uh, Gus stated he's done a lot of planning and is willing to do what he has to do to get what he wants. Uh, Y'all very openly stated that the only way they were going to get to the homestead was through blood. Uh, there was arguments thrown, or not arguments, <laughs> there was threat thrown at both sides. Uh, we're unsure who exactly drew first, but both parties did at one point all have weapons out. Uh, then at that point, uh, Miss Ivy did in fact state that if Gus attempted to move in the house, that he would be met with bullets, where Mr. Gus then did state that he would very much retaliate if that were to happen, and that the Colts were the ones who ended up walking away from the situation. Good. Is there anything important you believe I missed? You might be a keeper. Good job. Oh boy. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, oh, my question that I have to ask all the keepers then. Are you interested in exclusively males, females? Oh, or for gosh sake, Sam. God damn it, Sam. I, 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 I do apologize. I'm, I'm in a relationship currently, so I'm, I'm sorry. Who, what's really? what's their name? Uh, I'm, it's private. I'm going to keep that to myself, respectfully. Why? Because I'm working. Well, fuck off after it. <laughs> fuck off and come back? Yeah. <laughs> you should have your significant other take Sam's test and you should take Sam's test and she could see if your compatibility would be adequate. Um, uh, before we go off track for a moment, Henry, for a moment. can I ask, are you willing to talk about the one thing or rather not? Because no, gonna, okay. I've already told you my answer I know. on that. I just want you to can ask it all you like, it's always no. going to be a no. Alright, then I'm going to not bother anymore. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what was the question? I stopped listening for a second. Okay, then. He's asking about what happened to me, so... No. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, no, we don't, we don't really snitch. No, no that's fine. I just wanted to know. Okay, I'm gonna put this notepad up unless there's anything else about. <laughs> no, you're good. Thank ask. you, okay. Deputy. 
You're welcome. Reed, do you want me to wake up Reaper so you can piss the whipper again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, she was gonna lose anyway. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Such a good fight. The she third one. She wanted me to, to tell her how I was feeling. So he you was told feeling her with your pistol? pistol? He couldn't it use his mouth. An Instead, accident. he used his fucking revolver. Yep. Hey, I'm the law. Yes, this you are. Okay. okay. Oh Settle down. <laughs> Settle you down, Gus. Mom with that mouth, what the fuck? She gets out of line. <laughs> <laughs> you switch your mother when wait. she's bad? <laughs> I was ask him that. <laughs> I've, I've said, I've said for whatever you're into, you read. I'd arrest my own mother. Okay, that's Every much better than. Oh, God on. damn it, Reed. <laughs> what the fuck did you think? Yeah. <laughs> All of us thought it. Yep, that's how you worded it. What, that if my mama got out of line, I'd drum my gun on her? He, she Aww. said, do you kiss your mother with that mm -hmm. mouth? And you're like, only if she gets out of line. Yeah, she's talking about so my gun. She's being oh, bad. Yeah. You're just like, mwah, mwah, mwah. settle down, mama. He's talking about some real right. real. <laughs> well, Sick friends. Okay, <laughs> your words. Uh, my camera's well, about to get bit by a snake here. It is possible. It's the weapon. Yeah, pretend it's Reaper. It's your expertise, righty? Yeah, okay. Ooh. Learn uh, it from you, Marshall. Okay, I'm Ooh. sorry, you got in the way. Um, anyway, um, just, you know, on the note that they show up, whatever. Mm -hmm. Just try to not, you know. Look, we don't want that either. I know. Prove them wrong, and then we can charge them instead of you guys. Uh, I, I was serious about the whole if they try and fuck with the cattle while we're here mm -hmm. thing. Like, if There's I'm lots here to protect and that. they show up, yeah. yeah, I will shoot them if they try oh. and fuck with the cattle while I'm here. And okay. I made they that show up very clear to him yes. that he is only to get the cattle when y'all are not around and it goes both ways. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you guys also have to respect that. But, yeah, you know, yeah if fine. he does, yeah. But yeah, if he shows up, you know, like instead of shooting him, maybe send a telegram like, hey, this idiot is over here if you have two people over here. And then someone will show up. And then, so I'm just a bit worried it's going to be like, oh, the big, bad, mean, cold king did Look, this. they're going to, they're looking to play games. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's very evident. And it's really unfortunate that Elythra is standing on the other side of this, looking at it in the same way he is. But I get it. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. Yeah, at least now we all witnessed it. Yeah, she was here not as mm -hmm. governor. Allegedly. Allegedly. Well, and I mean, and to her credit, she ain't trying to tell you what you have to do or no. or make any executive orders or. Well, that's good for her. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. If a Very good for us. Executive her. order shows up tomorrow that benefits this dispute. That's all. That'll story. be another yep. question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or even in the near future. It's gonna be a government building tomorrow. But we'll do the very best <laughs> we can with the situation that presents itself. We're not trying to risk our license in any way, shape, or form, because we do things with the cattle that help the state. So. Oh, it's just a fucking, it's like one fucking shit show after another. Yeah, we cannot get a fucking break. Who the fuck is this? Maybe he's here for the cat. I'm going to check Telegram. Is that a Reaper? Oh, shit. Oh, hey, cool. Okay, oh, that is go. Reaper. Yeah, it's Reaper. But thank you guys very much for being here. Yeah. Seriously. Everyone. Thanks for letting us. Yep. Give me a moment, Amber, and I'll come with you. Talk about surprising. Wake uh, up out of the house and hey. Sure. Yeah, thanks for letting me know about the whole uh, waiting at the Gus rock thing, here. Rube. <laughs> rock thing. Yeah, Rube, for thanks for setting us up like that, Rube. What? 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 Wait, what do you mean? So, uh, waiting at the rock? We woke up and Gus was Did here. Did they not know? I, I didn't do that. He's we rode in here like we Gus own the place. Here, he, uh, okay, you know, you gotta, you know, like, wave uh, a little bit. 
we sat out here and talked a little bit. Don't die. Like I, I, the same I, stuff I, I we talked about. Down and or have been talking about. Approached. I didn't know mm -hmm. about that, to be honest. You know, if he gets here first, what? whatever, work with the cattle, that is not I, I, Yeah, I did. Um, <laughs> it's just okay, so I'm not the only one that shit. didn't know. Okay. No, I just walked up myself. Okay. There's a sign on the rock that says, no trespassing, we will shoot you. Just so you know. And we'd rather not have to shoot you. Also, the governor was here. I highly suggest you not. Well, obviously. Yeah, that would, that would hurt. So, that. I didn't know that. Okay, well, alright, we'll get out of here. Alright, y'all be well, okay? Oh, yeah. Thank oh, you yeah, again. Say, right kind of Stay out of trouble, Reed. Well, what about us? Always do. Why do I hear <laughs> another goddamn snake? Is that snake rock you're snake walking rock? to? Did they arrived when Gus was here? Oh, okay. What? Uh, That's I my pet! They all got here at the same time. Oh, did I shoot the pet snake? Like, Dumbass. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's your muscles off too. for you. Can't yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> that they were there, at yeah. least to know what's going on. Why the fuck did Amber keep apologizing to Gus? What the fuck is she doing? Sorry, Gus. I tried. Tried what? Yeah, I'm sorry? You caught Why that too? Why would she yeah. do that? I didn't uh -huh. even know she was awake, and then all this shit's happening, and then fucking Amber rides in from the back because there was supposed to be a meeting here with her and Gus and <sighs> some lawmen, and to our absolute surprise, 